Should I stay or should I go now is more than just a song by The Clash. It's the literal question that every runner in the St. Croix Winter Ultra asks themselves. This race is a 40 mile ultra marathon at night in January in Minnesota. Runners spend their hard earned money for the right to run this race in which they pull 30 plus pounds of supplies on a sled. In such cold wintry conditions, you can literally die if you stand still for too long. 25% of the runners never even finish the race. And the highest dropout point? Well, that happens when the runners reach mile 24 or checkpoint 24. The runners arrive at checkpoint 24 between 10 p.m. and midnight. It's here that the runner must prove to officials that they have emergency survival skills that could be needed if they're going to run the last 16 miles of the race. In order to demonstrate these skills, the runner must stop running, set up a body-shaped tent, climb into a makeshift bed inside the tent, wait for 30 seconds, get up, pack it all up before getting back to the race trail. Now you might think to yourself, that's gotta be the easiest part of the race. But actually with a near zero temperature, covered in sweat from pulling 30 pounds on a sled over the last 24 miles, and settling into a sleeping bag for 30 seconds, well, that's usually enough comfort to lure runners to simply stay still and in the sleeping bag, making Checkpoint 24 one of the most dangerous places that a runner can stop. But should I stay or should I go is actually a question that each of us must ask every day. Will we find the strength, the stamina, the will, and the desire to get up and run the race marked out for us in this life? The scriptures teach us that we are to go, to run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, Hebrews chapter 12. So don't give up, don't give in. This is discipleship, following Jesus, being changed by Jesus, and committing to the mission of Jesus.